Hurricanes, floods, wildfires. When a home is destroyed, the one thing people want is their photo albums, but it's really a pain in the neck and other places to scan them yourself. What if you could scan them this fast? We'll take you to the place that does that, coming up. And for the many of us with boxes and boxes of old photos under the bed, cluttering the closets, the thought of having to scan each one of them into a computer is overwhelming. But as KTLA's Dave Malkoff reports, there is an easier solution to preserve those priceless pictures. We all have that dusty box or cracked album of film photos at home, and there's only two ways to digitally save them. Either take a photo of each photo, or you spend hours scanning them one by one. When we could scan a thousand pictures in five minutes. Things an industrial photo scanner saving more than three photos every second. It's the way companies like Scan My Photos and Irvine preserve your family history before disaster strikes. Because the last thing you want is to rush back into a burning house from a wildfire or an earthquake to try to grab those 20 photo albums. Mitch Goldstone gets boxes from everywhere. For a set price, they scan and save those pictures to a DVD. All of these are done. They're just waiting for the DVDs right now. So you've got Polaroids, you've got the snapshots, Polaroids, everything. you've got 8 by 10s you've got everything. everything. These are on their way back to the families who can store them on their computer or share them on Facebook, Flickr, Picasso, YouTube, Google Plus. Google Plus. That old 8 millimeter film of your grandparents, those vacation slides from the 70s. Just over time, they lose their ability to hold that image. And your VHS wedding video all easily digitized using today's technology. Because once they're gone, they're gone. So you could literally throw that away because now you have everything archived on DVDs and saved on, on your computer. No matter if you scan them yourself or have a company do it, you want to take those digital photos and put them on a hard drive. 60 bucks will get you an external half terabyte drive. An internal hard drive is about the same price, but that's double the size of this. Take this drive, send it to a family member who lives far away from your house so you're protected. And the ones you keep at home, keep them in a lockbox like this one. This is what I keep in my house. I also have all my photos stored online on Flickr. We'll show you how to do all this on the blog, ktla.com slash Dave, full instructions right there. I'm Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News, back to you guys. The amount of pictures that my family took growing up, <laughs> we could use News that. News you can use. Yeah, that's right absolutely. absolutely. Well done, Dave. Very good. We love that yeah. idea. You know what else is news?